very simple how to improve the land and grading process in your town. First of all, we, is we have to get government out of the way. They are the problem. Uh, if you look at land development, if you look at downtown Norwich, just to give you a typical example, downtown Norwich, I was down there on the 15th of July, high noon, and I took pictures. It's a ghost town. Do we want more of a ghost town? Or do we want a bustling city, one that has a lot of business and a lot of people downtown? If you want to keep going towards a ghost town, then I like that either uh, nicer or more hingy, it really makes no difference. However, if you want to move the town forward, there's only one clear choice. And that's the person who's going to reduce taxes, reduce regulations, and bring business back into town. We will get rid of the parking commission, which that chases business out of town. We'll get rid of the NCDC. I mean, that's over a million dollars that we give them. For what? We really have gotten not much for it. It's time for a change in Norwich. Norwich right now, the taxes have went up over 100% in the last seven years. What have we got for that? Have we gotten much of anything? No. All we've gotten is more aggravation. The other two candidates out there, Hinchy and Nystrom, both voted for the uh, police station. It went down in flames last year when it went out the referendum. And they both are still for it. There's only one candidate that's not going to do it. That's not going to rob you of $33 million which is over $550 for every man, woman, and child in Norwich. And that includes the homeless, by the way. So if we don't want our taxes to keep going up, there's clearly only one choice. And basically, the industrial park, the same thing. Uh, the industrial park has become a, a ghost town. We need someone who has the incentive and the vision to bring back the industrial park to what it was in its heyday. And maybe even make it better. My name is Bill Russell. I ask for your